My name is Matt Gould, and I am an accidental textile artist. By accidental, I mean I started my career as a painter and working in paintings and drawings. And when I was working in Alaska in the late 90s, I stumbled upon the native button blankets. And I said, what the heck? I'll buy some wool, I'll learn a stitch, I'll prick my finger with a needle and try it. And a year later, I'd made my first button blanket, or sort of my version of a button blanket. Included text in the button blanket, some words that I was using, it's sort of a meditative piece. And I realized now, as I look at my work in retrospect, the language, story, narrative has always been a big part of my work. The name of the Christian deity carries with it um, a lot of weight in the world, a lot of consequences for the global community in a positive and a negative way, a destructive way. And in 2006, I got a grant from the Alberta Foundation for the Arts, and I started this series called In Jesus' Name. And it's a portrait of a young man named Matthew Shepard who was taken from his town in Wyoming in 1998 and beaten up and hung and left to die on a fence post. It represents, um, for me, one of the dis most destructive ways in which that sentence has gone out into the world around being gay and lesbian on the planet. And this piece, Darling, um, was based on a short story by the Jamaican-American author Thomas Glaive. And it tells the story of a woman who is married to a small Caribbean island dictator slash torturer. And it sort of tells her slow descent into madness. And I have her dressed in her finery with her gloves and her hat and just a little hint of the horrors that are yet to come. I put an ad on the internet asking for men who'd be willing to pose uh, nude for me, but also answer an erotic questionnaire. The thing about this piece is it was the first piece that I used when I had kind of an interactive questionnaire. So I was engaging and connecting with my subjects uh, in a different way using a written word. After being exposed to leather mask making in 2013, my work took a real radical change. And for this next series, I got together a group of men from central Alberta, gay, straight, old, young. I had them fill in a questionnaire as to what they thought it was to be a man, what it meant to them. And then I did drawings, pencil drawings. I traced those pencil drawings, gave them to them to do some embellishing. I took all that work, the drawings, the questionnaire and the embellishments and created these uh, 3D kind of sculptures. This was my first molded leather sculpture that I created in 2017. It's a personal reflection on my life thus far, broken up into three sections, 1 to 20, 20 to 40, and 40 to 60. The title comes from the tag end of a quote by Oscar Wilde, and the quote is, all of us are in the gutter, but some of us look up at the stars. And for me, it was kind of an aspirational piece for me, who spends a lot of time, I think, in the muck and the mire, once in a while reaching up and looking to the stars. In answer to the 2014 series, Totems of the Masculine, I knew right away that I wanted to do what I'd call an answering project, and this one, Exemplars of the Feminine, uh, takes that role. I gave the women the same questionnaire, but this time, instead of drawing them and doing portraits, I asked them to give me artifacts, things that were important to them, and I took them away, and I worked just from the text that they gave me and from the artifacts. I never set out to be a textile artist, but I love the fact that there's a balance between that which is premeditated, because there's a lot of planning involved, but then the surprises you get, the material acts in a different way, or you have to figure out some kind of a problem. And I look at the fact that 
I get into molded leather, I get into natural dyes, I get into embroidery, I get into large-scale sculptural pieces. Each one challenges me and it gets like super exciting. So in lots of ways I feel I'm just kind of beginning and uh, there's more yet to come, fingers crossed.